Hey, how's it going everybody? So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can turn a Raspberry Pi into a retro emulator. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly what you will need for this, um, as well as um, it just depends. This is for you. So I'm going to be using for this demonstration a 16 gig um, uh, micro SD card. So it just depends if you're going to be storing more ROMs and you might want to go right ahead and increase the cap capacity for this. So nonetheless, let's go right ahead and get started. Okay, so the software we're going to be using to image the micro SD card is going to be, well, the one that I'm going to be using is going to be the Raspberry Pi imager. I'll go right ahead and leave a link in the description. And the software that I'm going to be using, it's going to be Laka. So this is going to be for a Raspberry Pi 4. And of course, you're going to need some ROMs to go right ahead and load, load up. So first thing we want to do is, of course, run the, the imager. So let's go right ahead and do so. Okay, so we're going to go right ahead and choose um, a system. So choose OS. So here I'm just going to go right ahead and e even though we have the em uh, you know emulation and game OS, uh, I'm just going to go right ahead and go to custom and I'm going to go right ahead and select the image that we already have. So for storage, let's go right ahead and choose storage. And the system already knows that basically uh, there is a, a mass storage device already connected and that would be my 16 gig micro SD card. Once you have all of that chosen, then you could go right ahead and click on write. So uh, right now it's going to say, you know, all existing data on, of course, the, the micro SD card is going to be lost. Do you want to continue? Of course, we're going to hit yes. And this process will take a couple of minutes, so we'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so the imaging software just finished. So at this point, we're gonna go right ahead and click on continue. Uh, I'm gonna go right ahead and unmount the micro SD card and of course, basically boot into the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so now that we are actually inside of the Laka emulator software, so let's go right ahead and get some of these, um, or some of the ROMs actually loaded. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can do that. So the first thing you need to do is, of course, connect it to the Internet. I was originally going to be connecting this um, Raspberry Pi to Wi-Fi, but I really have no idea why uh, the wireless connection just does not come up. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and change it and I'm going to go ahead and actually physically connect it to the switch. All right. So we're finally connected to the switch. So let's go ahead and go into network information. And then now you actually see that we actually have an actual IP address. So we're gonna go ahead and note this IP address and then I'm gonna show you what to do next. So we're gonna go back to uh, either your desktop or laptop, whatever you're using, and we're gonna go right ahead and open the run command. So I'm gonna click on start and I'm just gonna type in run, hit enter. And we're gonna go right ahead and do backslash backslash. And then we're gonna do the IP address so this window opens up, so you're gonna see a couple of uh, different options is, uh, you know, actually in the folders, but the one we're gonna be focusing on is actually the ROMs folder. So we're gonna go ahead and open that one up. Okay, so once we have that folder up, we're gonna actually copy the ROMs folder that we have here, and we're just gonna go right ahead and drop it in. All right, so once we have the ROMs in there, we could go right ahead and move back to the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so here we're just gonna go right ahead and go to the right and we're gonna go right ahead and go to this little plus sign. So here we're just gonna go right ahead and uh, do a scan directory. So let's go right ahead and do that. And we're gonna go right ahead and scroll down and we're gonna go right ahead and scan the ROM folders. And click on scan this directory. Alrighty, so it should have already picked up some of the ROMs that I had in there. So if we scroll back, now we can actually see that we have an actual um, emulator loaded. So this is the, the Game Boy emulator. And of course, I can see that, of course, the Pokemon Blue version and the Pokemon Red version is loaded. So at this point, you could just go right ahead and click on Enter and, of course, hit on Run. And before I end this video, uh, just FYI, instead of using a keyboard and mouse to actually control this, you can actually use an Xbox controller. I haven't really tested it out if you can use a PlayStation uh, 3 or 4 controller, but um, yeah, just FYI on that.
And like always, everybody, I really do hope you enjoyed this video, and we will catch you on the next one.